Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get Taylor Swift's American Music Award makeup look. And I really liked it because it's just a nice gold and brown smoky eye with smoked out liner. Um, Taylor always looks good, so let's get right so into the tutorial. See, I already have my one eye completely finished. Now to prime my eye, I used Benefit's Lemonade eye primer and corrector which just mattified my lid and got rid of any discoloration I might have had. The palette I'm going to be using today is a Tarte palette and this is the High Performance Neutrals and this is a holiday um, gift set that they have so you can probably get this at Ulta, Sephora. Um, I personally got mine at Ulta but um, that palette should still be available as of right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to highlight my brow bone. So I'm going to take my Sigma E70 angled fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up this very first color right here, which is a nice uh, kind of sparkly off-white color. I'm just going to place it right under my brow bone. Okay, just to brighten that up a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sigma E55 eyeshadow brush and Taylor has this lower part a uh, kind of golden brown color so I'm going to be taking this brown color right here And I'm actually going to be wetting my brush with my MAC Fix Plus. You could use water if you don't have this. It's perfectly fine. It's just going to help intensify and make it more metallic looking. So we're just going to put that all over the eyelid. So once you've done that, you're going to take a darker brown color to do your outer corner and crease. So I'm going to start by taking my E30 pencil brush by Sigma. And the dark brown I'm going to be using is this one right here in the upper corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a V shape. Right, so it should look like this in a V shape. And you want to make sure you don't go past your eyebrow because hers does not go past her eyebrow. And then take it into the outer corner a little bit. Take it into the crease. What I'm going to do is take my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to pick up some of that same brown. And I'm going to blend it up into my crease a little more. And then you also can take it down on the upper part of your lid as well because the gold is mainly focused on the bottom half of her eyelid. So if you have a little bit of brown on the upper half, um, that's perfectly fine when you blend this out. And now the eyeshadow part's done, so I'm going to add black liner to my top lid. And I'm just using my Victoria's Secret Extreme Black Liner. It's just a crayon liner. And 
And then I'm going to take the smudger on the other end and just kind of soften this a little bit. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And the mascara I'm going to be using is my NYC High Definition Mascara. I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Victoria's Secret Hypergloss in Moonlights and this is a gold shimmer cream and you don't need a lot of this at all um, just a small little dot will do and I'm going to be using this as my inner highlight because she has a gold inner highlight so I'm just going to pick some of this up and place it in my inner corner. Now I'm going to go back with my black eyeliner and Taylor has only the outer part lined in black she does not have it lined the whole way in so I'm just going to go a little less than halfway about that much and then what I'm going to do is take the smudger We're just going to smudge this out. Look like this. And then there should be a little bit of space still between your gold highlight and your black. She has the dark brown that she used on her top eyelid. She has it smudged down on her lower lash line. So I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to pick up that same brown that we used in our crease. And I'm just going to smudge it along the lash line. So it should look like this once you're all done. Your gold's fading into your brown and your brown's fading into your black. So your eye is completely done now. So I'm going to use my Sephora concealer pen in medium 06 to conceal under my eye. Now I'm going to take my MAC, my MAC, Merlite Skin Finish in Light Plus and place it over top to set my concealer. Okay, so for my cheeks, I used one of the blushes that comes in this kit and I used Thrilled, which is a more mauve uh, flush tone So that is what I used as my blush for my highlight. I also Use the highlight from this kit and it's angelic and I just placed that on my upper cheekbones my nose my forehead and my chin and then for bronzer I used my benefit hula bronzer, which is just a really matte bronzer and I placed that to contour right under my cheekbones. 
um because she is more heavy on the bronzer than she is on the blush so you want to make sure you have a nice contour and then for lips she has a nude glossy lip so I'm going to use my Revlon lipstick in soft nude and this is my favorite nude lipstick it works really well because it doesn't totally wash you out And then for a gloss, I'm going to use my NYX Lip Gloss in Sugar Pie, which is a nudie pink color. Alright, so this is the finished All right, look. so there you guys have it, the finished makeup look. I really think this is a great look because it's actually very wearable and you could wear it almost as an everyday kind of look since it is brown and gold with a neutral lip. So I definitely hope you guys try this out at home and I will leave my blog, Twitter, and Instagram down below in the description box like always. And if you click on the icon of me in the lower right hand corner, it will take you directly to my channel where you can see more of my videos and subscribe if you would like to. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye!